welcome back if I think we have some um, some of you are joining for the first time this is the fifth session out of uh, nine and today um, the discussion will be about uh, how the human mind uses data I'm not going to talk for very long I just want to say again welcome to everybody um, especially if you're coming new and the, the previous um, four sessions you can find in the events page in Eventbrite if you want to see the previous sessions but um, we'll, we can get on with today's session and again um, we're very very honored to have um, uh, Ananda Siritero and Sananda Tero with us and very grateful for to them for this teaching so I'll um, hand you over to them. Good evening everyone. I think Today, as well as usual, we are going to describe uh, through a one topic how to liberate yourself and how to increase the blissfulness inside you within. And also I would like to remind you the message which I have been telling you since the beginning of this series. Do not get too much attached to these words. Do not try to remember these words. Just be a free listener because one single word Throughout the, through this session, maybe the word which will make you enlightened, which will liberate your mind. So do not get attached to it. Be a free listener. Now, first of all, we'll think about the way that we have gathered memories so far. Now, at the time of our birth, we do not have any memory about the surrounding. Even we do not recollect anything about our parents or anything in this world. If we take a little bit uh, forward, uh, sometimes there are certain instances where some children, they have a recollection of memories uh, that they have experienced when they were inside their mother's womb after conceiving inside her. Now, since our birth, our parents or the people who raised us, they put a tremendous effort to put to the to upload data to our mind and to feed us with these memories. Now, since I am in Sri Lanka and I was born in Sri Lanka, the language I was being fed, I was being given by the people who raised me was the Sinhalese language. And if someone has been raised in India, maybe the mother tongue in that particular country, since you were, you are in UK, English is the data which was fed to you when you were born. Now, when we grow, when our perceptions grow, the first uh, imprint that we get through our senses has a tremendous value and we keep it as a marking point. 
ඒක නිසා තමයි අපි අලුත් කෙනෙක් කම්බ වෙනකොට සමහර වඩා ලස්සරට ඇඳලා පිරිසිදු වෙන්නේ ඔදයා මුලින්ම දකින්න අවස්ථාවෙන් තමයි එයාව තේරුම් ගන්නේ. ඒක තමයි මිනිස්සු ස්වභාවය. ඒක තමයි මිනිස්සු මනසේ හැටි. ඒ නිසා අපි ඒක අපි දන්නවා යම් හරියට තේරුම් ගත්ත නැතු වුණාට ඒ නිසා අපි අලුත් තැනකට යනකොට අලුත් දෙයකට යනකොට අපි ලස්සරට ඇඳගෙන යන්න හදන්නේ අලුත් මතකයක් ඒ වටේ ඉන්නට දෙන්න. So that is the very reason that we try to portrait ourselves uh, by wearing new clothes or uh, maybe wearing cologne and uh, makeup when we meet someone for the first time to give the first impression correctly. Eta kada daru api dakko loke honda manusse ekkena pulwa. Namut ohu api dakina welawata ohu kaata hari beda wadina wala. Ohu tarahara gena padusa wachchene nan inne. Ohu honda ga ohu ge honda gena api dannet na api ahala. Namut e awasthawa thamai ape matake thiyena ohu pilawanna. and maybe the person that we are meeting for the first time is a good person but we don't have any idea about his personality though he is a, a good person at the time that we meet him for the first time he is in angry mood so we get that impression and we think and we assume him has a bad person etara api oh gena kalpana karanna oh gena thiyena e matake yanna ne etara api oh gena hondak therenne නමුත් අපිට ඒ ඒ අරේ මතකයන් මුලින් අරගෙන ඒකට බැඳි සිටීමත් එක්ක අපි ඊට පස්සේ ජීවිතේ අපිට බොහෝ තැන්වල වර දෙනවා so we think more about that personality with the first impression we got and it was a bad impression because he was in angry mood if we are too much attached to the impressions too much attached to the memories that we perceive from the surrounding then there is a problem that The problem is when we take decisions based on that memory, our subsequent decisions maybe might be go wrong. इतने ये नहीं आया लोगे फिर तो ये ला एक आदर लोगे नारक में गाती पैर तुम दिए ना मैंने सोचा आदर है ना तो किन्हें किन्हें बोला ना वो आप इतना बोले मैं हम बोले तो अपने उदाहरण कराना अब उन्हें दिन खाता कराना अब उन्हें हुपिल बताती है ना ते� Now on the other hand, we might be meeting a person who is bad, but he, his bad qualities are unknown to us. But if we get the first impression as good, maybe he might welcome us properly. He might talk to us kindly. With with that impression, we might think about him as a good person thereafter. The boda kuna desa baalak tu wagi sudu endala. I wagi lassar ne minisa thare dia ne ekam mata ke dinu wagi sa. अपीट <laughs> අපි ඔයලාගේ ඒකේ මුල්ම අවස්ථාව තමයි තද බල ලෙසම අපිට මතක තියෙන්නේ so with all the experiences that we are having throughout our life the first impression has the greater importance because that keep as an as a marking point and it is it gives a imprint which is more powerful than the later memories मत අවුරුදු 10කට පස්සේ ඔහම මොනවම එහෙම වෙන්නේ නැහැ. නමුත් අපේ ඇතුල අවුරුදු 10කට කලින් නිසා අපි ඔහු කියලා ඒ විදිහට තාමත් හිතා ඉන්න වෙන්න පුළුවන්. ඒ නිසා මේ මතකයන් පිළිබඳව හරියට තේරුම් ගත්තේ නැතුව මේ ලෝකයම පටලවා ගන්න පුළුවන්. Now as an example. Think about a friend that we have uh, met 10 years ago. Our friendship was 10 years old but we haven't I haven't seen him for a very long time for 10 years. Now when I see him after 10 years maybe he might acquire totally different personality but i consider him as the same person that i met 10 years ago api me lokaya tula avida gena yanne kahul dekenne me man kiyana api me su me lokaya tula avida gena yanne kalpana karala e matakeyan kalpana kara kara inneka thamai me lokaya avidinawa kiyanne 
Now, I don't think that we walk on this ground with our bare foot, with our, using our feet. I think walking is the thinking process. In this case, I don't think that we walk on this ground with our feet. We always dream about our future. And all the things that we dream about the future is a recollection of our past memories. Now, if I elaborate it further, we don't have any information about tomorrow because it has not come yet. But how can we plan about tomorrow, today? We always do that. We always plan the future based on the information we have gathered in the past. So what we consider as the future in this present moment is the memories that we have acquired in the past. Enisa, uh now, just think about an instance that we lose all these memories for a moment. If that happens in any moment, we don't know anything about ourselves. We don't know anything about our friends, our relatives, our parents. So the problem is not with the memories that we get. Problem is not with the memory. The problem lies when we get attached to those memories. Now, there is a nice story in the Bible where it describes about how a person who belongs to God initially from the inception, how he becomes a person who belongs to Satan. Now, this story is in the Genesis, where it talks about the creation of this world, where the God created Adam and where the God created Eve, as the scripture says. And it talks about a forbidden tree. I think you know that story better than me. It's a very nice story. Now, when a child is born to this world, he has a very clear mind, a pristine mind. He has no attachment with, to his memories. It, is, it can be considered as he belongs to God. Now, what happens after his birth? He would not take all these information from the outside world voluntarily. First, firstly, everyone force feed him with those information. His parents, his relatives and the people around the child will force feed the information. So he will be reluctant to take those information first. But after some time, he would try, he would start to receive those information and he would get attached to those information. Then the pristine mind that he had from the inception will be lost. So it is correct to say that our entire future is based on the data that we have received. So, uh, once a child is attached to the information that he has received, then he, he, he is losing the pristine heart he had from his birth and no longer he belongs to God because he has he has cons he have he has consumed fruits from the forbidden tree. 
ियन that they go after information they go after data and they get that data downloaded to their mind and they get attached to those data because of that habit of one's mind they, they are losing the bliss they are losing the peace in their mind kata api me pena bautikayat ekka neme wedi pura jeevathe na ape mataka yanne ekka api ewata sihina kiyala kiyana isa manussekta So thereafter, we don't live with the surrounding. We don't live with the physical world that we perceive in this present moment. We start to live in a dream world, in our memories. अतर में बुधवार हम दोनों किया ने ये माता के अंदर साजिया के लिए पाली वाचरे या बाल ताक में हम खंडुना करने के लिए दाहसी बुधवार हम दोनों किया ने कि अतर मेरी हुआ ये दत्तम आते विश्वासमें <laughs> ो useless effort in his life neka thiyena maya kari bawa thamai meka handuna ganna amaru de thamai meka me ape hite mawenna dewal apita attakma kiyala hitena me me matakayanna osse hadena me loke me aramu apita meka yatharthayak yana issala ape aasawan tulin e osse hamba yanna gatiyak adala thiyena meka hari behesa kara gamala e tulin minisu peedawata pat vela inne asahanayata pat vela inne so what is why is it difficult for us to understand this nature of running after our dreams the reason is that we think those memories are real we think those uh, information that we have gathered in our mind is the reality because we consider it as real it is very difficult for a person to understand that he is just dreaming he is not in the present moment esa pe mahira loke thiyena dewal debatta suddu kalu usak meti කරන පැත්තෙම දෙපැත්තක් තියෙනවා. ඒ කියන්නේ අපේ මතක යන්නේ තුල හැම තිස්සෙම දෙයාකාරයක් පැත්තක් නියෝජනය කරන. ඒ කියන්නේ සුදු පාට මතක යනුත් අපේ තියෙනවා කළු පාටක් තියෙනවා. ඒ නිසා තමයි අපි චිත්‍රයක් දැක්කාම ඒ මතක යන්නේ නැතර ඒ සුදු කළු අපිට කැපිලා පේන්නේ. So as we have identified that there is a duality in the physical world. There is a duality in our mental world as well. In our memories there is always there are always two sides. Now we have bad memories, we have good memories. we have white we have dark ඔබ සුදු වලට වටිනා කමක් දුන්නොත් ඔබ කළු ප්‍රතික්ෂේප කරනවා. ඒතර ඔබේ මනසම ඔබේ මනස එක පැත්තක් එක 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 මතක එක එක ස්වභාවයක් අදින් වැලඳ ගන්නවා. තව තුර වගේ ප්‍රතික්ෂේප කරනවා. මේ ක්‍රියාකාරකම් දෙකම නිසා මනස දැඩි වේසකට පත් වෙනවා. Now the general nature of one's mind is that they get attached to one side of that duality in their memories. Now if you give much value to the good memories inside you and in the same time you will reject the bad memories inside you when you have that imbalance inside it will give a great pressure inside me loke manasa hondara gaveshane kara manasa avabodha karagatta yam manusseyek innawa nan eya oy depattatama kisima visheshayak wenna kisima watina kamak notina kamak wenna anna eyata mo vitarai e matakyan pida nokaranna now if there is a person who has understood the mind perfectly he is the only one who would not give value to any either side of those memories he will just keep those things as just memories 
he would not get attached to one side or neither he would reject the other side. He is the only person who would bear memories with a, without any resistance inside. Now there's a nice story. Now if you hate someone, your hatred which is growing inside would not affect much the person who has been hatred. It, it will give, it will do a lot of adverse to yourself. Now, what is the reason for that? What is the reason that your hatred does more harm to yourself but not to the person that you're hating? The reason is that though you think that you're hating someone else, someone outside, you're actually hating a mental picture inside. You're actually, your hatred is towards a dream inside you, which was created inside you. So you're not hating someone else. You're hating your own self. Because of that, those, because those memories belongs to you. The dream which was created inside you belongs to you, not to someone outside. Because of that, the resistance, the pressure which grows inside will definitely destroy your peace and bliss. <laughs> Now, if you do not have the understanding that you're hating not an outside person, you're hating your own memories. If you keep on that hatred, if you keep that anger for a long time, it will definitely affect your physical body as well. So, if someone has great anger, if someone has a lot of hate inside, that means, if the duality works, that means definitely he is attached to something else. He is loving somebody else. So what happens if he has love also in greater excess? That means if he is loving someone to the same level that he is hating someone, that means to protect that love life, he has to give a lot of effort. So in that case also, a lot of pressure will be developed. Now, he is getting to his life, he is getting pressure to his life from two ways. Firstly, from the hatred that he is developing towards one person and also from the love he has developed towards another person. <laughs> Now, maybe throughout your lifetime, you might have loved many people. You might have shown kindness to many people. You might have shown gratefulness to many people. But actually what you have done is that you have shown those feelings, you have shown those attributes only to your own memories, only within your dream world. It has never been perceived by a person from outside. Now there is a person 
who is wearing old clothes and he has given new clothes by a person another person but he is not ready and he is not willing to wear those new clothes if he is reluctant to wear those new clothes he will not be able to show himself properly in new attire to the world okay parala gandu gandum galawa ivattata damana tarukota alu gandum andinna beha and unless he removes his old clothes he will never be able to wear the new clothes enisa parana matakeya donata tadim mamila ewat ekka jeevat wenna minisu ta alut lokeyak muna gehenne na e saundarye muna gehenne na e ritmaye muna gehenne na on hariyata mata pehenne parana enduwa kendagena alut endun laba dedi laba dedi me sabawa dahama eka mendagena ganda gaga peedawata patthila asahani ekimma ledela werala yanna hadare minisu now similarly if someone is attached to his old memories if he is not ready to give up those old memories he will be living in that past memories in the future so unless you give up your old memories you will not be able to receive the new memories which will make your life blissful enisa minissu samahara minissu na samahara andunakata unath purudu unaha vekai galala wen ekak na andin na hetu eka ekada tadi medila enisa me මිනිස්සුන්ගේ මතකයන් ඇඳුමකට එලියෙන් එකම ඇඳුනත් ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ නමුත් මිනිස්සු එක මතකයන් එක්ක තදින් බැඳිලා ඉන්නකොට ඔය හිත පල් වෙලා කුරුවල් වෙලා විනාශ වෙලා ඒ කියන්නේ මූණ පව ඇකිලා යනවා now some people they are used to be in those old memories as like there are people who would like to wear the same cloth every day that they are addicted to one particular cloth it is like that if you do that with your mind if you are if you think in the same way without changing it it will make your life rotten ide e nisa oba peedawata patthena na oba asahaneyata patthena na oba balanne e peedawata patthena asahaneyata patthena ke siddhi me vistara kirima wala paribahirawa siddha vela thiyena now if you consider yourself if your life is pressurized if you consider your life is Uh, not doing well just think about what has gone wrong whether you have been addicted to one particular memory inside you whether you are not ready to give up one particular memory inside you oba mata obe obage atulanteta apu matakeyanta oba watina kam dila thiyena obage atulanteta nidahasak ne nivimak ne sahaneyak ne attata kuwa hiri ithirulena saturak obata ne now if you have given value to the memories that you have gathered in your life if the that will definitely destroy the peace inside you and you will not be happy in your life and you will not receive happiness in your life idan api api man oy udaharanayak ganne eka nidahase sawan denna me eka api ape ammata godak bandila nan amma leda wena welawata amma wetena welawata ammata kawurade baina welawata ape athulante awul wela gini aragena gini gannawa tama thissa now take this as an example now if you are too much attached to your mother if someone scolds your mother if your mother is sick or if your mother meets an accident then you will be upset oba gini ganna you will start to burn dara balanna obe matakayan godakata oba bandila innawa na oba me loke oba gini ganna puluwa onama welawa now See, likewise if you are attached to many memories like that there are many reasons there are ample of reasons that make create fire inside obata obata taattata mahapola wata gas kolang walata obe sharira kotas walata taruna kamata nirogi kamata oyadi dewal walata oba bandila innawa nan mata e mat e emeni matakeyan walata thawa obe pati roopeyata e kiyanne obata obe wayasa yanna yanna ඔබගේ අතුලාන්ත හැම තිස්සේම ගිනි කන්දක් වගේ බුරු බුරා උඩට නැහැ now if you attached to your parents your friends and the memories about uh, your profession maybe about your body if you attached to all those things all many of those things you are actually like a volcano in any moment it can erupt එතකොට ඔබට නිදහසක් නැහැ ඔබට මේ ලෝකයේ එතකොට ජීවත් වීම සාපයක් then you don't have a freedom your life will be a curse 
කොහොමද අපි දැන් එවැනි මනසක් උරුම කෙනෙක් කොහොමද ඔබ නිදහස කර අරගෙන ඉන්නේ? ඔව් කොහොමද නිවිල යන්නේ? So if someone possess a mind like that, how can he be liberated from that? ඔව් මේ වචන අහන මොනින්ම? He will first listen to these words. ඔව් එතකොට ඊට පස්සේ ටික 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 ඒ මතකයන් මේ මහු බැඳිලා ඉන්නේ මතකයන් වලට කියලා අවබෝධ කරගන්න. Then he will gradually realize that he is attached to nothing but to collection of memories etoda e ohu ewata deepu watina kam tika tika adu karaganna then he will reduce the values that he has given to those memories so ge athura e e pramane tuta tuta ni wenna ga to that extent his mind will be at a bliss oba kochcha matakiyanta watina kam dilo oba kochchara bhavana kara oba kochchara bana pot kiyewa oba kochchara sakman kara mama kiyana oba athura ni wenna ha kiyala awara kara Now, if you have given too much value to your memories, it doesn't matter how much time that you meditate. I will tell you, your burning sensation, your fire inside, will never be cooled down. Any so, what? Kuchhara sutra sajjaya na karo. Toh kuchhara jiti ka kiwa. Obe e matakya ante obe vati na kama tiina thoro. Obe ita obe ke hathe vathe. Sena obe sari re ita. Obe hita na kisi daa sena seva. Now, it doesn't matter how much of prayers that you pray. It doesn't matter how much of sutras that you say. If you have not reduced the values that you have given to the memories inside, you will never reach bliss inside. Obata me Lanka ave ma godak minisu ona dukata pat karana pula eka punji deyak kala. Now, if we consider Sri Lanka, by doing sing some simple act, I can make many Sri Lankan subset. ඔබට පුළුවන් මම මැටි වලින් හදපු බුදු බුරක් හරි බුදු හාමුදුර හැඩේ තියෙන පිළිවෙයක් කරන් මිටියකින් ගහලා කුඩු කරන්න හෙට මුළු ලංකාවේ මිනිසුන් ඇතුළාතේ දැවිලා පිච්ච කරන්න now if you want you can create a small sculpture to the shape of a buddha statue and destroy it using a hammer and publish that on internet then you can destroy the entire mindset of sri lanka සමහරට තායිලන්ත දෙවියන් දෙවත් හඹාගෙන යන්න පුළුවන්. Maybe your act may go beyond Sri Lanka to Thailand and Burma. ඒකනේ මේ මිනිස්සු බුදුහාමුදුරුවෝ කියලා හිතාගෙන ඉන්නේ ඔහු පුංචි කාලේ දැකපු චිත්‍රයකට පිළිබඳව මතකයක්. ඔය එකට කොච්චර තදින් බැඳලද කියනවා නම් ඒ වගේ චිත්‍රයක් එලිය කුඩු වෙනකොට ඒක මැටි වලින් හදපු එකක් කුඩු වෙනකොට පහ ඔහුගේ ඇතුළ ගිනි අරගෙන මු පිච්චලා යනවා. Now those people what they consider as Buddha is a sculpture which is created from clay. so they have given so much of value to that memory which was fed to them from their childhood and if we consider how much the value that they have given to that memory if somebody destroys a small sculpture then their entire life will be a mess oba hete ala kurane aragena gini thiyala daara eta mulu mulu muslim manu lokema gini ga Now, if you want, you can burn a Quran tomorrow. You can burn the entire Muslim world. ये तो एक बालान में मिनिस्ट्रो अतरे में बुधवार अंदर आते रहेंगे ना तो कुरान ये अंदर रहेंगे ना तो नहीं वो हम में माता के अंदर माता के आती आगे ना मुकाम करी हैडे आप पुलिस बंदो ये हैडे तले ये बैंडी ला ये बैंडी ये बैंडी चले बहुत ही कलो के विनाश है ना व So have they really understood what Buddha is? Have they really understood what Quran is? No. They have just got attached to a memory, to a information which was fed to them from their childhood and they have given a value to that. If something happens to that memory in the physical world, if even if they hear that something is going to happen to that memory in the physical world, that will burn their entire mind. ඒක මම මේ මේ කියන උදාහරණ ඔබ ඔබට ගලපල බලන්න. ඔබ ඔබ ගිනි තියන්න පුළුවන් මතකයන් කොච්චර බැතුලාන්තේ තියනවද කියලා පුළුවන් ඔබ හොයාගන්න. Now use this example to ascertain your life. Just think about how much of memories that you have inside you which can create fire inside. ඒ නිසා ඔබ මොනව හරි මතක එකට බැඳිලා නම් වටිනාකමක් දීලා නම් අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම बाहर लोगे पर सिद्ध ने ये ये मतलब क्या नोट की ना संबंध दीवार नोट सिद्ध हुए यम सिद्ध हुई मतलब उबे क्या तो लाते वेकिंग चलाने ही कराने को बाहर उबे तो लाते वेकिंग गिनती आने को बाहर उबे मुलु दावसर में पीड़ा से कराने को बाहर I just remember 
if you if you are attached to any memory inside you that attachment can trigger a great fire inside you if something goes against your memory namuth ap munchi lamek deha balanna me loge kurane ne wei budu pilimeyak ne wei me loge ohuge amma taatta merunat ohuta gaanak ne guda amma munchi lamai now think of, think about a infant if you burn a quran in front of a in, of an infant or if you destroy a buddha statue in front of an infant even his mother and father dies in front of him it will not affect him ehena ehema hitapu e punchi hadawatata echana satura pirithu vita me siyalla vinasa vidhi satura pirithu me hadawatata me vayasa wedimath ekak kunak sibulo now to a mind which was at a great peace like that as an infant what has gone wrong when it grows oba mage vachana walata hariyata sawandunno nawate e wagema hadawata kaithikarayak obata wenna if you listen to my words carefully you can receive and you can be a proprietor of a mind like that me loke e lame kipodunawata oda jaatiya aagama rata e pilebana dadi matakyan ඔගේ සංස්කෘතිය විසින් ඔගේ පරිසරය විසින් ඔහුට ඇති කරවන now when a child is born his surrounding his society will feed him with lot of information about the race religion and his nationality ඊට පස්සේ ඔහු හදි වැඩෙන්නේ ඒ විසත් එක්ක ඊට පස්සේ ඔය වට වටිනා කන් දෙනවා ඊට පස්සේ ඔය මුළු ජීවිතේ මරග අරගලක සිද්ධ කරනවා ඔගේ ජාතියට ආගමට ඔගේ රටට ඒ දේවල් වලට කවුරුරි බැන්නොත් හරි ඔවුන් සියල්ලෝම එකතු වෙලා අර බැනපු කෙනා විනාස කරන්න හදනවා ඔගේ විනාශය තමයි මුදේ සතු so the child thereafter will grow with those poisonous concepts and he will get attached to those poisonous concepts so afterward if something goes wrong if something goes against their race against his nationality against his religion it will destroy it can destroy an entire society eni sawa therun gada me mataka yanna walata manussek bandunahama e manussaya ohu siyathin oge gelamiri kaha gatta aha sawara now if someone has attached to his memories it is like that he is squeezing his own neck oge mulu aatmayama vinasa karagena oge mulu jeevithaya vinasa karagena ඔගේ නිවීම සතුට සියල්ලම විනාශ කරගෙන ඒ කියලා මම කියන්නේ he has destroyed his entire life he has destroyed the peace in his life එනිසා එහෙම විනාශ කරගත්ත මිනිස්සු අම්බුරහම් ඔවුන් මට සවන් දෙනවා මම ඔවුන්ට පැහැදිලි කරලා දෙන්නේ ඔබ කිසිම හැට් පෙන්වන්න බැරි ඒ භෞතිකව ගත්ත යහෙන් කලෙන් නාසී ශරීරයෙන් ගත්ත මේ මතකයන් වලට බැඳී තිබීම ඔබගේ ඇතුලාත්‍ය සතුට ඔබට කොච්චර අහිමි කරනවද so if a person like that is listening to me today i'm showing him that how much his inner peace has been destroyed by the simple reason of giving values to the memories that he has gathered through his five senses දැන් බලන්න මේ ලෝකේ සුදු කළු ප්‍රශ්නේ වුණා දැන් මේ ලෝකේ සමහර කළු මිනිස්සුන්ට සුදු අය उटर black and white complexion issue now you cannot just impose laws and stop a crisis like this as long as that you have not reached a balance and if you have not reached a proper understanding in your mind that this issue has been created by the values that you have given from your mind to the concepts inside you in this way loke manusse ඔහුගේ අතුල තේරුම් ගත්තු ඔහු තේරුම් ගන්නේ ඔහුගේ අසහනයට වග කියන්න ඕන ඔහු ඔහු තේරුම් ගැනීම ඔහුගේ පීඩාවට වග කියන්න ඕන ඔහු ඔහු තේරුම් ගැනීම ඔහුගේ ගින්දරට වග කියන්න ඕන ඔහු අන්න එහෙම තේරුම් ගත්තොත් තමයි එතනින් ඉඳලා උඩ නිවෙන්න පුළුවන් 
So if someone properly understand his mind, he will definitely realize that all these, the reason for all these troubles is nothing but himself. And unless he cools down his mind and he cools down the way that he thinks, the problems cannot be solved. So, if your mind is not at peace, if your mind is burning, the very reason for that is the attachments that you have with your memories. Now, when you live this life, when you receive experiences in life, just think when you just think how your mind responds to certain incidents, how your mind will be pressurized with certain incidents. Do that research within you. If you are being criticized, if you feel pressure inside, just do a research and think about the reason for that. Then if you do that research within, you will realize that the attachments that you have to your memories is the very reason which will trigger your mind with incidents that we face in life. Now if you say all those bad words, Call an infant a fool. Would you be able to destroy the peace inside him? It will never happen. But when that child grows, a single word can make him a devil. So just think about the end result that he has, how he has raised his life. Now, do not misunderstand me. I do not complain about the memories that we have inside. What I say is that unless we have given values to those, values to those memories, those memories cannot destroy our peace. So how do we liberate our memories from the values that we have given? Now, if you give a lot of effort to liberate yourself from that valuation, it is wrong. And also, you do not try not to be liberated. So you cannot liberate your mind from the values as given to the memories by giving a lot of effort or either by not giving any effort at all. I, I believe that you might, all of you might have had a bath in the sea. Now, if you put a lot of effort to swim in the sea, you will float. But you will get exhausted. So when you swim hard, when you put a lot of effort in swimming, yes, you can float, but it will create a lot of stress inside. 
langata oba pinan natu hi diot oba no gili la but what happens if you do not swim you will drown pang oba nga hano kohoba de hinang dadi wehesa gannen natu yate yannen natu oba bohu de hinne so then i'm asking you how can you survive in water without putting lot of effort in swimming or without giving without putting any effort to swim api ahan ajanta ge so i would like to ask that question from ajanta api kiwa denetta de wobo be adahasa kiyanna just tell you tell me your idea about it um when i swim or when i'm in the sea i can stay afloat i'm just um gently moving my arms and legs not really trying but i can just if i keep um conscious of what the water is doing i can stay afloat mata wedi mahansiyak wen nathuwa mage atapai aantamin chalane karamin mata honda avadaneng waturu mokadda mata karanne kiyala avadaneng innama nan mata paavi paavi inna puluwa api thawayata dewu okay i would like to get more answers from the audience somebody else please uh, maybe i will be uh, just laying down on the water uh, not to move or not to try to make movements and uh, let uh, myself uh, to be uh, aligned with the water mama samaharwita watura matha satapevi watura samagama loku veeriyak daranne nathu ava adahas do any more ideas like that matilda did you put yeah your um i i love the question because i i love swimming in open water so that's that's great <laughs> um uh, i i think you have to go uh, with the flow that uh, the water is marking so you don't you don't set the pace you don't you don't say okay i'm going to go do this i'm going to go this way i'm going to go this strong you kind of follow the flow that the water is given to you so and you kind of try to use the strength of the water and the power of the water to kind of go with it towards you would like to go and you don't really set yourself like an objective i'm going to just get to this point uh, within this amount of time and i'm going to go do it this way you kind of every every stroke you take you really see what the water is doing and uh, you go with it and you don't fight anything you don't get stressed about anything uh, you just stay with the moment um and that makes the experience more enjoyable and and eventually you get where you want to get oba watura wature chalaneya samagama inna oba mukut karanne nae waturema balaya paavichchi karagena oba etana rendi inna oba kisima aramunak tiya ganne nae me me de karala tava tanakata me metana mama rendenawa kiyala ene wature power ekama bala shaktiyama paavichchi karala ඔබ වතුර මත නැන්දී ඔබ මට මට මන් දන්නවා මෙතන ඉන්න හැම කෙනෙක්ටම එහෙම සමහර අත්දැකීම් ඇති ඔබ කියන කතාවත් හරි ඒකට මම ලස්සන වචනයක් කියනවා වතුරේ රිද්මයට එකතු වෙන I know that I think all of you and more or most of you have the experience of doing that and the answers that you are given they are correct I would give a I will explain it like this the word is that you get along with the rhythm of the water එතකොට අපිට කිසිම වෙහෙසක් දැනෙන්නේ නැහැ අපි යට යන්නේ නැහැ then we will not feel lot of exhaustion or neither we will drown එහෙනම් මම මේක පැහැදිලි කරේ ඔබ මතකයට තියෙන වටිනාකම් වලින් අයින් වෙන දැඩි උත්සාහයක් ගන්නවා කියන ඔබ තව මතකයකට වටිනාකමක් දීලා ඒ කියන්නේ ඔබට තව ආයාසයක් තව වෙහෙසක් now how do we compare this with that exercise now if you try to reduce the values that you have given to your memories that means you have given a value to another memory so it will add up another pressure on top of the pressure already in your mind enisa 
मेलोके जीवित देवाल इवर कर निधा उटेड now when you hear these words you may panic you may rush to be liberated and you may rush to receive a peaceful blissful enlightened mind but i say is do not rush because there is a way there is a rhythm to achieve it you have to get in touch with that rhythm re mata koi loge goda minisu hambu na mata perenne e de ikkala ivara karanna da ussaha karanna minisu nisa e rhythm ekata yana minisu ari kala thurakin thamai dakila but when i meet lot of people by experience i know many of them they would they all they always try to finish a target they always try to finish their goals in life there there is only handful of people who would always be satisfied with the rhythm which flows natta samahara minisu e kisiwa nokara inna thamai ussaha karana or else there is many people who would do nothing in their life oba oba hitanna ko oba pala waga karana api ge makkara 10 ekak vidara pala wawanna 20 ak vidara giya kiya now let's say there is a group of 20 who is farming in a 10 acre land nase palat giralla thiyena idawak thiyena e aayudak thiyena dan obata thiyenne pala inna now you have the land you have the utensils and you have the uh, plants the only task that you have to do is planting those so hondo de diha balan hitu godak ay hadanne pala inda ivara karanna igena e wedeyata kamathi na ara wedak daagatta nisa ivara karanna dalana now if you observe the group carefully you will see many of them want to finish the job because they don't like the job since there is a job they want to finish it wage tara par asa karana dana una obata gala pala balanna puluwa now you can compare this nature behavior with your professional life whether you are also like that sawatika denne balano pattakata wen and there is another group which would try to get out from the job without doing anything again wedak nokara inna that means not to perform in the task is kene kussa karana e wade ikwanta karala iwara karanna thawa kene kussa karana wade maga arena so one person is striving hard to finish a job and another person is trying to escape from the job mata hoya ga namari pala indena manasse it is very difficult for me to find a person who is planting esa driving karatte unak wenne it is i have seen this quality in people while they drive oh to wala gamane avasaraneta yanna ohuta avashya naha driving kara they always want to finish the journey they don't want to drive oba me loke rhythm ekak thiyena oba pala indana wala daata pala indana wala oba katha karana wala daata katha karana wala oba eka avasan karanna ona naththa oba me vishwa rhythm ekak thiyena oba e athula nilila giya now when you are planting while you are planting when you are talking while you are talking there is no such thing as finishing the task that means your inside is at a peace that you have joined with the universal rhythm eka thamai obage matakyan nisa athula dinu ganna athula nuwa ganna vidiya so that is the way how can you that is the way you can cool down the fire inside you 
which has erupted from the attachments from the values that you have given to your memories now what is the nature of a person who has achieved this oh he is always a new being in this world which is always becoming new okay parana matakan ohuta ohuta pida karanna ba his past memories cannot create stress in him okay atulante company karanna his insight cannot be triggered oh kochchara nivilada kiyana wada oh gini tiyanna puluwar kisima deyak me vishwadathu wenna so there is no fuel in this world which can create fire inside you okay bhautika sharire gini tiyala alu karala daanna puluwa namuth oge hadawata kaadawa gini tiyanna ba etcharata ma nivilada kiyana he can his body can be burned but his heart his mind cannot be because he is totally done meeta passe oba wadak karana kota oba wadeyata akamathi bawa denna baya ganni oba wadey kalla iwara karanna dangala noy okay oba oya gana oba segment e wadi iwara karanna ona oba e wadeyata kamathi now next time when you perform a task if you have the ambition to finish the task just understand that you don't like that job oba ida passe iwara karage oba ida passe thawa ekak obata karanna ona because let's say you are done with that task you have to perform another one they give it karage thawa ekak karanna now let's say you and you fulfill that task also then again you have to perform another task eta gena oba kamathen newe iwara karanna hadanni nisa iwara karanna newe eta oba oba life e kamathen newe gatha wenna athu so athuri newe gatha wenna athu so you are not performing that task willingly and then you are performing another task unwillingly so your entire life is a performing a task which you do not like enisa oba loke kriya kara kama oba karanna ona pul gana nam pul gana biya pih dana nam pih dana muhudu diha balang inna ona eka karanna pina ona pina e de karanna e e de bawata uparima pat wenna oba e e tarawata ma nidahas so you have to do activities in this life when you are living but when you swim just swim when you are looking at the sky or at the sea just look at the sky look at the sea when you are performing a task just do that task just be the task or me deshana me vidyata ivara karana i will wind up this session like this obata mamme kiyana wacchana therum ganna wana ඔබට පුළුවන් මුලගත් එක හමා යන්න බලාපොළ එක පා වෙන්න වතුරත් එක ගලාගෙන යන්න මේ හුස්මත් එක හුස්ම ගන්න now if you can understand me properly you can float with the water you can float with the air you can breathe with the breath now i will open the forum for your questions